Hi and welcome to a new episode of Product Release Notes, where we'll present the latest improvements and updates to Omega 365. Yes, that's right. And in today's episode, we will be presenting fresh updates within the following areas. It's status presentations, workflows, academy, documents and planner. Yeah, and we'll uh, have a short reminder here that on Docs Omega 365, you can navigate to release notes and get uh, more detailed on each area. Yes. And then uh, you will kick it off. Okay, yes, let's start with status presentations. It's actually a new thing that has been introduced. Uh, as you know, we have uh, status reports based on Word that generates a PDF file. That's very practical in many cases. We have dashboards. And then many of our clients and uh, users like to present the status of their project or the company by using PowerPoint. Uh, that's a great uh, way of presenting highlights of uh, the status. Yeah. And we have uh, a good concept for integrating data that you have in your solution into a PowerPoint file. So in this uh, up status presentations, you will see that uh, you have uh, content. And this content is then data that you can get from the solution. So in the first uh, slide here, we have the cost status, which is... Uh, picked up from uh, Omega 365, consolidated income, headcount, risk opportunities, so various reports that has been designed with our reports designer. Mm -hmm. So uh, um, the Omega 365 report designer is a very nice way of designing reports. It's using DevExpress, so we have very rich design opportunities like uh, with this uh, charting tool for example how you've created a report uh, showing uh, number of workflows grouped by severity right yes yeah and of course you can combine it with many other types of content in such reports mm. and then this becomes components that can be included in the powerpoint so it all starts by first uploading the powerpoint template that you're going to use yeah. and then you can merge your content into the presentation and it will become a part of that PowerPoint presentation. And Very can... similar to uh, status reports where you use uh, same logic with, with Word. Yeah, it's a little bit different that you don't have like a, a template and then it generates a new file. You kind of work on the same file same all file. the time. Yes, okay. you put in a placeholder. These if if this slide uh, or this content has not already been uh, uh, defined in the PowerPoint, it will automatically be generated and it will get an alt text text. <laughs> so in that alt text uh, in the PowerPoint uh, object, yeah. you will uh, say that here you want consolidated income. So you can do that upfront yourself or if not, you, it will automatically generate it. And then you can move around these objects, of course, and then it will automatically put the content from Omega into that. Uh, object oh. in PowerPoint, so uh, quite easy. And then it generates the uh, PowerPoint and you can always also have a PDF view of it. Okay, yes. Yeah, that's good. And the next thing is uh, workflow groups. Uh, well, uh, in uh, uh, workflows now, uh, on each workflow, you can uh, add a group, a group of members. Uh, you can manage the groups uh, to the workflow register, you have a button. Uh, here we have two uh, groups created with uh, some members. Uh, and on, uh, uh, let's go here. Here you have shared with group. Uh, you have subscribers shared with person. The, the logic here is the same. Access is given to the members of the group and then not directly to a person. So choosing here, you have one person, then you can have a group, your project, uh, and then uh, share the whole workflow with that group. Next. Yes, and that's in our Academy module. Here you have the possibility to build up uh, courses. And we see in many cases, it would have been very practical to be able to reuse something that you already set up, like for example, for our Omega 365 training courses. Yeah. That's a typical introduction. And instead of making that and copying that introduction to all of these different presentations and training material we build, instead you can now you just say that you want to use an external section. So instead of uh, 
defining your own introduction, you just use an introduction from a master template uh, course, or another yeah. general course. So that you can do for all of these uh, sections here. Mm. So that I think will be very useful when now building more and more training courses, both from a standard product and our clients, of course, who can also yeah. make their own courses using this technology. Great. Standardizing and it's much easier to update and ensure that yeah. you always have the same and correct information. Correct. Great. Next is uh, Planner. Um, yeah, with, uh, so a new thing there is that we now support that you can import schedules from Primavera. Many use Primavera, perhaps some of the contractors use Primavera and you need to import the schedule from them. Yeah. So you can use the possibility here, go to commands and import from Primavera and navigate to the Primavera file. Yeah. So then now we support MS projects and Primavera. Yes, correct. Great. Uh, next up is uh, in document control. We've added uh, new possibilities to make your own custom fields in a way. As it's already quite some flexibility in our solution. You can have this meta field that is tied to the object register and there are many attributes already available. But yeah. sometimes there's a need for something specific for one uh, client for that specific client and then you can use the code types and codes to define those so mm -hmm. uh, in here let's say you want to have a new code type for different certifications uh, that is relevant to tie to your documents so we can say that this is relevant for this uh, domain and here we have ISO uh, for example like this and then you can populate yep. various codes and then you can say that you want to have this attribute assigned to a document oh, okay yep Okay, uh, we also have the possibility now to uh, be a little bit more flexible when it comes to initiation of automatic uh, review. We know that we can use review required. That means that this document has to go on review, even if you haven't defined a uh, distribution setup yet. We have a new attribute review or approval is optional. So if there are reviewers or approvers defined mm -hmm. for that uh, document, then it will initiate review automatically. And this you can combine, of course, also then with auto-releasing. So in this case, if there are no reviewers, and since review is optional, it will in this case be automatically released. If it there are some reviewers, you have to run the review process first and then you can, depending, depending on, of course, the review status code, it yeah. may or may not be automatically released. Okay, that um, was for this episode, uh, the latest updates and improvements in Omega 365.